Mm. Trading card stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, portraits. Uh, and stuff. Go, go. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead then. That's something for us to talk about since we are on the dry side this week. I am streaming, by the way, so. Yeah, because a lot of legit artists got shafted for people doing AI art, and somehow the AI art got it in, got into the top three hundred. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see if it this changes anything. Oops. Uh, let me let me just stop this for a moment. Uh, screens, screen two. I'm gonna put this at thirty, thirty frames per second. Let me see if that helps at all. You know, I'm gonna just pick a random video. Um, do we have a video to look at? No, we actually do not. Yeah. We actually don't have no trailer to react to. I don't think this for this week, which I feel like is a it's a first for at least a lot for a lot uh in a while. I can I cannot find it, so let's not put it because I don't dig for it. Okay, that's fine. Maybe, maybe it's, it's pretty much it's pretty much like he said she said but there are okay. examples okay and people and the one and the exam one of the examples is someone clearly is breaking the rules of like you cannot like um have multiple accounts mm. to do um you know to um enter mm-hmm and again, if you really look closely, which I don't think these judges are, you can really see like the Eevee's eyes are fucked up. Oh, really? the fur patches. Are you are you like, talking about this? No, no. Um, get out of that one. Oh, okay. Right there. Right there. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. 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 I I I can. Okay. I get what this yeah, is. Yeah, the going. Eevee. The Eevee one. Right there. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. I can hear us, by the way. Okay, cool. Okay. And see, if you went back to that EV, see how many multiple um entries that one person did? Mm-hmm. At the bottom, that's all him. All the V? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're only supposed to have one, you know, per, yeah. one account. Mm-hmm. You... So, yeah. Damn, man. I hate, I hate to see it. Well, uh, but the reason why I was following it was because um there was a, like a lot of good frolicator um uh -huh. art. Sorry, yeah, sorry, uh, blast toys. But if I wanted to go with like a final final form water starter, it's frolicator. Yeah. No swamper. No. The fucking. Twink lizard, mm -hmm. from, um, sword and shield. Even though it has the like the most like awesome uh, attack animation by just fucking shooting, actually like finger shooting you. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was it? Inteleon or something like that? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. When you, as soon as you said finger finger gun or something, I was like, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right, let me uh let me check our audio. Uh, say some. Dig through the dishes, the ditches, burn through the witches, and slime in the back of my Dracula. All right. 
I'm <laughs> like, oops. There we go. Wait, I know, I know what digit to use. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. In my picture, wow. screenshots. I'll just use this from last week's last week's episode of Kaiju Number Eight. Okay. Mm. Should we also put the um the whole dumb? Dumb thing that's going on with uh, the boys right now. Oh, what's going on? About the character, the character Sister Sage. Oh my God! What, what like what? 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 What is it? <laughs> Everyone is up in arms about this about her. I'm saying that the one I read was like she doesn't belong in the boys. This is just agenda, agenda. Mm. I was like, wow, you you guys are very. It's like, where were you guys when we had a literal? N oh yeah, and one of them actually said like, I don't need to see a, a African American in this show and something. I was like, wow, where were you guys when freaking we had a literal Nazi in the damn show, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nazi okay, but Amer African American um character no bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the same thing with Frenchie. Everyone fucking well, some people are losing their mind that he's bisexual or whatever. Yeah, he's he's been bisexual. Like, what the fuck? I, know, I was like, like where have you? The people, the people, the people like had that shit fly Did over. You skip? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that wasn't that in like season one? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was like literally <laughs> season one. Yeah, people just forgot. Like, god damn. Unless they're trying to hardship him and Himiko, I was like, oh I think they've maybe, seen huh? As as like. You know, brother and sister. I mean, I have I have things to say about the boys. Um, if we do, have you watched the three episodes? Um, the Christmas on Ice was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I did not know he could sing, so that also threw me off. I was like, oh god! Wait, who, who? You didn't know who what sing? Um, I'm not gonna say the actor's name, but the one that played Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. And, yeah, I didn't know he could sing, so I was like, "Holy shit!" Okay. But yeah, that that let's just say everyone who's slowly watching or hearing us mm -hmm. that the following scene while they're still doing still doing their dance on ice <laughs> was a little sloppy. Mm -hmm. the, uh, <laughs> The light show could have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. But yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. But mm -hmm. oh, yeah, let me test this real quick. God. <laughs> there we go. Uh let me uh bump up the soundboard a little bit in in volume. Uh I think that's in server setting. Let me see. Server setting, soundboard. Uh. Oh no, oh. I think it's over here. That's what I found slowly. I'm just gonna ask you right now. How yes. do you feel about Firecracker? Um, a little more, a, a little more on the indifferent side. I don't really. I'm not annoyed by her right now because I want to yeah, see what I'm happens annoyed. later. But why? I just want to see her get humbled. Yes. Yes. Really quickly. He's like, do yes. But then there's Joe. I fucking already liked him the moment he stepped on screen. Yeah. Uh, or she, yeah. <laughs> I was like, they know what they were doing with this, uh, <laughs> with this actor. Okay. I think we should be set. Let me do it one more time. Yep. All right. That's, I think it's fine. All right. We're back. 
we are back for another week of the Hypecast. Uh, Father's Day is coming up, or uh, as we record, I mean. But by the time this episode is out, it already happened. Um, on YouTube, anyway. Already happened. And then, um, yes. Yeah, I'm your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go, go, you know, spend time with your dad, you know. Appreciate um, for uh, what he has uh, done for all of us, right? You know, all our and fathers, you know, yeah. Or your father figure. Father figures, yes. That's also uh, just as important, you know. Dads are definitely um, just as important as the moms, you know what I mean? Now, yes, you know, um, just like any other parent, right? You know, there could be some complications, but at the end of the day, for most cases anyway, definitely is great, uh, good to celebrate, you know, fathers, right, all around the world, you know, just as uh, much as with mothers. Because they are the two halves that bring you to this earth and help you bring, uh, experience, uh, help you and experience happiness, friendships, and uh, all the good stuff that comes our way, including um, a number of video game stuff. So that's why we're here. We're, we're here to talk about that, that stuff. So, uh, by the way, I hope everyone has a happy Father's Day. So, okay. So with that uh, said and done, um, we are actually in a bit of a dry spell for right now. Um, things are boiling up though for the later half of June. Like we're, we are, uh, we, we, we do have stuff to talk about, of course, but, uh, once like a certain day in June hits, we'll definitely, uh, we'll see, um, some news pop up for sure. But for right now, um, we got this stuff, stuff to talk about on our docket. So. Uh, including fighting games, so uh, we do have some stuff to talk about in fighting games. So let's go ahead and hit the sound uh, right here. This battle is about to explode. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So, um, this is the first that we don't have a trailer to react to, but I do have stuff for us to take a look at. Um, there's been a lot of screenshots and videos and stuff like that already with M. Bison, because, you know, people were able to play M. Uh, M. Bison for those, like, have, uh, sort of special privileges and, you know, like, content creators and players, like, you know, uh, competitive players and such. But, man, look at, look at this guy. Look at this man right here. Is that not, like, the most evil face you'll see in Street Fighter VI, at least, or... Man, for for that matter, like maybe maybe in like just fighting games right now, modern fighting games. Like, look at that, dude. Especially with the hood and everything, the hair, like the on top of the the smile and everything, the eyes too. Wood. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> uh, and the reactions, of course, the comments are just. Yeah, I love this. You yeah, have the cans, like <laughs> the can. Oh God, yeah. The can just sums up. A lot of people's reactions, you know. And yeah, the but day again, you you have to give it to the uh, to the um to the graphic engine. It, it really mm -hmm. the RE engine, yes, it yeah. really is putting in the work, right? Especially when it comes to these sort of expressions for like the evil, evil motherfuckers. <laughs> and look at the eyes. I look mean, at, yes. look at, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, the eyes, the faces, what. Is is nice and all. I'm more happy about the fabric. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The detailing too. Holy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, never mind. Take it back. It's clipping. Oh, it's clipping. Like yeah, it. the hair is clipping into the like thing. It. Yeah, you don't like, yeah, it's, it sucks. Like <laughs> back to the drawing board. Cancel Bison. Sorry guys. <laughs> but no, uh, and and uh, of course this actually is a what do you call um. Straight from the screen with the phone and stuff. It's not an actual di direct um, screenshot. So, yeah. But, look, yeah. The, the quality, like, these characters is uh, pretty, pretty vast. And M. Bison is definitely um, being highlighted, like, quite a bit. Thanks to the engine. You can see, like, a stubble, too, with his chin. 
he's got like stubble um yeah with his mustache and stuff like that a little bit of stubble right there too on the mustache area you can even see stubble in the jawline area behind the hair and everything so the details are there definitely for sure yeah. but i was about to say the eyes man you can like actually see like white pupils or uh, irises which is like kind like not, not 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 the first i would say but um because uh in the comparison i think it's right here like even here you can kind of see like a little bit in street fighter 4 like they tried to do some pupils right there or something and then they went back to no pupils in five i think but in six man they're bringing out they're bringing out the eyes they're bringing out the eye for sure although i like that in some some settings some lighting settings i guess you don't see it right only in in, in the darkness <laughs> mm -hmm. you get to see his eyes like in full detail but man even like without his hair and stuff like his uh his um his classic outfit really brings out his face like you can bring you can see like the jawline the uh the, like the wrinkles right here and stuff the crow's feet um like even when he's quote unquote clean shaven you see like the the uh the pores and stuff it, like man mm -hmm. the, like you said like the engine is doing work you know a lot of and work so you can see like stages of his life he's yes he's like young youthful middle age now in, or not middle age a little bit over at middle age in Street Five, but five and now six is like I'm decrypted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like definitely plus fi plus fifty, man. Like Jesus, you know, for he's sure. Pushing them numbers, <laughs> pushing them numbers for sure. Yeah, and Bison, man, who 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 would who would have thunk he'd come in this soon, right? You know, especially with what happened to him last time. But uh, you got you got you got you got to remember the uh, the older Biden biases man. He look he, he looked like he had like um cold like that the Colgate white tooth whitening kit you know going on. It, uh, of course, minty fresh and everything. It, Street Fighter Four and Bison man, they got they got the they got the look look like he had like retainers or something man. I don't know. <laughs> He, he's he, no, he had the um the the teeth guard. Oh, the, the mouth guard. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, they just happen to be white. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh um the poses for four and six. Five is okay, but you know it's it's a it, you can't beat the classic, right? Um, it. I mean. Five has has its own like degree of like coolness, I guess you could say, but I personally prefer you know four and six. That you know that's that's a classic. You know it's got the the hand right there, the you know wide wide stance with the legs. You know, it's a classic. You, you can you know one can one cannot help to stick with it. You know, um, any other comments uh, that you notice or see with M Bison? In terms of like looks and everything, looks pretty good. Yeah. And then, but going back, like how we can see throughout four or five and six years. Yeah. It's like before he looks like huh, I'm enjoying today. It's yeah. Tuesday. Five is like I'm really getting pissed off at this Tuesday. Yeah. Six is like <laughs> since like fuck this Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or it's like the stages of, you know, like if you work at retail for very long. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You become, you become the. What, what, what will be the, the appropriate saying for that? I don't know. But either way, he, he, he went full psycho. Um, working at that retail, <laughs> a pro that which is appropriate because you know psycho power and everything, you know. 
Yeah. Either way, I mean, it, whether he's in his um, classic outfit or the new outfit, um, I think he looks. I think he looks pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I wonder if Capcom can like find find out like uh, what what is the most used, you know, um, cost, uh, color or um, costume for each character. You know, like have a a way to track it. Yeah, that would be that would be a fun thing to look at, right? Okay, I can't I can't find a, like a a good good picture, but this is my preferred M Bison. I I like this M Bison right here from CVS too. Looks a little slimmer. He's not like completely skinny or anything like that, but I, he's like I don't know. I think that's the best shape in my opinion for M Bison. And then you know, of course, with this one. I think, what was it, in, uh, was it Alpha or something? That, you look, like, ridiculously big, um, let's see. He looks swole. He looks very, he was very swole, hold on. Uh, oops. Fire, I'll just put, like, Alpha or something. Yeah, this one, yeah. Look at him, man. His arms, especially, look like big old like balloons. <laughs> he was doing the whole um, what you call a uh, SpongeBob thing. He was <laughs> yeah, the anchor arms, the anchor arms. Yeah. 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 Even his face was like big too. Like he had a wide face, and even the artwork kind of shows that off a yeah, little he bit. Always, yeah, like his early years, he had always a frown, like, like. Like he's disgusted. Like, yeah, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah he's like he's not until like one, yeah, like right here three. too. Yeah, yeah, it was like not until like three he started to smile. Well, three he was already, he's, he wasn't around. Um, you mean like uh... no four? I think four was actually him yeah. smiling like a lot. You know, hence why he had the the pearly whites. <laughs> Minty fresh, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, you can you can see like the the vast difference of what kind of M Bison they're trying to go for. You got this like big old monstrous Bison right here, and then you got the more refined, slim Bison right here. Not, I mean, I know slim is like a weird word for it, but honestly, in comparison, he does look like a, a, a little slim. Despite yes, his arms and stuff still look. Pretty toned. beefy. You're looking for a toned. Toned. He's more toned. I think. Uh, yeah. I think that's probably the more uh, appropriate word for it. But yeah. Personally, for me, I think this is the this was the best looking bison. But at least with this one, it's like kind of trying to be in between, you know, like trying to please both both audiences type of thing. Uh, of course, I think I think six looks pretty good. I think he he came out pretty good in, in six with this classic guy. I mean, but well, fuck, man, look at look at this M Bison though. God damn, god damn. He's like hi everybody. Is that was it was actually surprising to see how many people thought this was going to be um it's like odd. even with the fucking hair. I'm like, really? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh I guess it's like, out. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess it's the alpha because the hood, right? Because uh, in five, uh, Sagat had like a raggedy top thing going on. Yeah. So I think that's why it threw off people a little bit. Like, oh, it might be, M or um, Sagat, but no, it's in Bison. Which honestly, now I I actually want to see what Sagat would look like in um, Street Fighter Six. You know. Just use Bison and then just. <laughs> yeah, get, take a, yeah, make him bald, make him a little, a little taller. Yeah, you know, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, Muay, Muay Thai. That's it. That's it. All right, I think we talked uh, enough about this one. Um, uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, I had to grab this clip, man. I, um, basically, it's like a versus screen, like any other, until you see the title, like this guy chose. Um, yeah, his name is, or their name rather, is Step on Me Jury, <laughs> and the title there's actually a title called Jury's Footrest. Platinum, by the way, platinum ranked. And then the on a two uh, win streak, two win streak, yeah. And I like this, uh, how how um this geef player, uh, Soul Force, same as the poster, uh, the one who tweeted this out. Did the, the, the this reaction right here? It's like <laughs> shocked face. The cow. Right. I did not think. Hold on, let me let me make sure this is legit. Hold on, let me make, let me make sure. Okay, nothing nothing really says it's fake or whatever, so. Um hmm. I wonder if that actually is a thing. Now I'm starting to be a little skeptical, but yeah. Oh, you know, okay. I think I think the editing he the person he was referring to was just like the simple zoom in and the timing and everything. <laughs> but his face the geek. <laughs> the face is the face is the, this feature the whole the whole face thing is probably like the most like some of the best features I, I don't know something about it's just it's like that extra little seasoning the little sprinkle on top you know I like it and then you know the whole like yeah yeah <laughs> you know that whole versus screen when you're like walking to the the ring or arena or whatever. Yeah. That I, I that's such a a uh cool like sequence. I like it. But of course the players have to skip in and people boo and shit, so it's like <laughs> it's really funny. <Yeah. laughs> oh man. Alright, I think that's it for the Street Fighter stuff. Big news for KOF though. Yeah. Big news for KOF fifteen. Um, it's been a dry, in a dry spell. There hasn't been much updates after that. Um, but they made this announcement not too long ago. Um, they confirmed that they are working on a special DLC character, right? Confirmed. Details will be announced at EVO 2024. So, um, with the recent announcement of Street Fighter's Season 2 Pass, and of course Bison coming so soon, right? Two weeks from now. Um, and then we had Terry and Mai coming in, right? at some point for mm -hmm. season two i i think it's pretty obvious at this point that they are going to feature um street fighter characters at, at somewhere in this snk fighting game like whether it be here koy 15 or um fatal fury now, th now you know this could be open right this could be just like more kof veteran characters maybe a, one brand new one i don't know or maybe more snk guest characters i am not sure or, or something completely different, like a, maybe a di guest character from like left, complete left field or something. I don't know, but they are working on something special, I guess. Special DLC character. That's their quote, you know. So, I mean, any comment on that? Yeah, so funny. It's a, it's a Nintendo character, right? That that that'd be honestly strange, but hey, you know, it's a special. They gotta be special somehow, right? So, I would if that it okay, you know, ooh, you know, nice little what if here, you know, if if it wasn't Nintendo character, who would be really cool for KOF's thing? Besides Captain Falcon. <laughs> Besides Captain Falcon, yeah, um, yeah, that would be pretty cool actually. Maybe maybe Samus or something, Samus Aran or like Link or something. I want to say Mario, but it would be pretty weird since he's like pretty sh really short. Um, who who's like a really another like cool character in Nintendo? Um, I guess any of the Fire Emblem characters, right? Since they already have like uh, Sam uh Samurai Showdown characters in here, um, so you have like more weapons and stuff. Um, who else would be cool from Nintendo? I guess Peach would actually fit pretty well because since she's like a more of a normal height than uh, over Mario. Um, 
Waluigi. Be funny. If, yeah. Be funny if a Pokemon enters. Oh, man, that would be. Wow. <laughs> you have Team yeah, Pokemon. Probably, yeah. It'll probably like be default like what Lucario and Lucario, Charizard, um, maybe one of the Mega Forms. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Blaz Blaziken, um, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Infernape, you know, you know, th th those type of starters, and yeah. yeah, like, um, oh, what was it? Oh, Cinderace, there you go. I was like, who, who were the, who are the starters for, uh, Sword and Shield? Oh, yeah, yeah, Cinder, uh, Cinderace, um, yeah, and then Teleon, right, with the finger gun thing. And the uh, Rilla Boom, right? You know, the Grass Gorilla. Um, but I'm trying to think of like other Nintendo stuff. Um, or is it Zelda stuff? Oh, I mean, of course, Ganon would be like that's that's like that. Come on, you know, of course, that'd be really cool. Oh yes, Star Fox. So Star Fox. Wolf. Wolf. Fox. Yeah, and that that is another question too. It's like, if it is it just one character? Or is it like a actual like whole team of characters? Like a right. Team, yeah. yeah, like three characters. You know, <laughs> a guest character from the streets. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. If it is going to be Street Fighter, though, what would be your your three picks? Who who would be your three? Probably gonna um, be Ryu. So that's yeah, fine for me. That's, yeah. And if we go by popularity for the second ones, either gonna be Chun Li or Jury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if it's like for new, like new, new characters. It's probably going to be like, what, Jamie or Luke? Yeah, yeah, I probably Luke more likely because Luke is like, uh, while popular, he's like very pushed out there but from Capcom. Like they push him out there, you know what I mean? So I think I think yeah that's a pretty appropriate pick uh, especially I would say I would say Ryu Chun Li and Luke is like the most predictable pick but personal wish kind of thing will be yeah Ryu um I want to see Geef you know got the, yeah 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 represent yeah rep the the grapplers right and then what will be like a wild pick um uh let me see. Maybe like, oh man, I want to say Mar Marisa, just because you know. Yeah. But there's, I think there's another pick that I would like to see. Um. Like I want to see like Dalzim. Like I want to see how Dalzim would perform with the uh, KOF fifteen mechanics. You know what I mean? Mm. That would be pretty nice. Although it's hard to leave out Ken because of uh his thing with um Terry, you know the like the whole hat throw thing, and then Terry catches it kind of kind of thing. Yep. That that type of rivalry would be really cool. But then again, you have like um you, you since you have geese in fifteen, like come on, who would not want to see Bison and geese go at it, you know? Or 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 uh or even uh Akuma right because we've seen Akuma and Geese make it into Tekken right you know that's a whole different rivalry kind of thing but you know and Bison right he's like the actual villain versus the other actual villain you know so yeah I don't know definitely um a lot to say in a way uh but in that special DLC character it is. You know, ooh, you know, like gets people's interest going again. It is firing up the interest for 15 a little bit because it's been a little, you know, like uh, kind of on a room temperature side of things. You know, it, it, it got the lowest entries for, 
I think it was CEO, was it? Or it, 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 either a CEO or a combo breaker. I think it was. I don't know. It's been on the on the low end, unfortunately, just because like you know there hasn't been much new for KOF. But now that we have this, it's like yes, interest going again. You know, kind of thing. Will it be enough? I mean, I don't know. Who is to say? Who is to say? Right. Um, time can only tell. So. Yeah. All right. But we'll be we'll be looking out for sure though. And it better be special. That's for sure. If it's just like another KOF character, is like, all right, come on, man, come on, you know. It's got to be a guest. You get. It's got to be a guest character team, though, for sure. But meanwhile, what is special and what we know for sure is that uh, Guilty Gear has a an, an anime announced out of nowhere. It's called Guilty Gear Strive Dual Rulers. Bit of a te teaser visual right here. We have uh, Sin and Soul Bad Guy. Um, both in their Strive outfits, of course. And there is a bit of a mysterious someone in the back. I don't know who that is. You know, probably just, probably a uh, anime exclusive character. No idea who that it's, is. Um, is it a mysterious Ed? Ed. <laughs> mysterious girl. So obviously is she. Uh, looks like he's got like dual tone hair, cat ears for like from like the goggles or something. I'm I'm assuming. I mean, it could be real cat ears. I don't I don't know. Um, could be a cyborg. Could be. Whatever, you know, it's got goggles on right now, so I have, I have no idea. Um, does not say when it's coming out. All we know is that, yes, there is an anime series announced. It's, it just says a teaser for now. But yeah, man, cool, cool stuff. Um, just the fact that we have an anime coming. They just started this, uh, Twitter account for, for the anime. So I'll definitely give it a follow. Um, and let me see if there's anything worth noting. Official website right here. God damn, that was huge. <laughs> big ol' big ol' zoom in on the art. That's cool. Oh, I noticed that he doesn't, uh, Soul Bad Guy doesn't have his headband on. That's weird. Wonder what's going on there. Unless it's like flying somewhere. Let me see. No. I forgot it in the water. Huh. That's weird. He doesn't have it. I wonder why. Maybe like a. Oh, it says um. Uh, Anime Expo, you know. Uh, so I'm assuming they'll like show it off at Anime Expo. Oh yeah. So yeah, 18 days. That many hours and minutes and seconds till the full announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, let me see. Let me see if there's anything in English. Okay, so there'll be a panel. More details come during our uh, Anime Expo panel. Cool. Oh, will they stream it? Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Um, who's behind it though? Who's actually behind it? Shigeru Morikawa. Uh, okay. Sanji Gen, Sanji Gen. Um, Incorporated are doing the animation for it. I guess our animation production at least. Let me look that up real quick. And see what their resume is like. Uh, CGI. So there was sounds like it's going to be a CGI anime. Then okay. I mean, we're we're already seeing Guilty Gear in 3D anyway, so not a big big loss or anything. Oh wow, they did Black uh, Black Rock Shooter as their first. That's cool. I watched that a little bit. Or actually, all of it. Sorry. Um, let me see. Ar oh, Arslan. Uh, Heroic Legend of Arslan. Um, Soccer Wars, the animation. Uh, 
Bang, number Bang G stuff. Bang G and D4 DJ stuff. Okay. Amity Films. Oh, they did 00, uh, uh, 009 Re Cyborg. Oh, the remake? Yeah, re the remake, or, I guess. Not remake. It's like a remake slash OVA. Yeah. They did that with uh, production IG. Initial D stuff. With co-production uh, co with um, Leiden or Liden Films. Oh, uh, Promare. Wow, they did the okay, so they did the CG stuff for Promare. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a CGI anime for sure, because they they specialize in the uh, CGI stuff. Oops. Um, yeah, more Bang Bang G. Or Bang, excuse me, Bang Dream. Um. Oh wow, they actually did the CGI animation for um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Same with Sakura Wars. And they did the same for the Byleth reveal trailer during the Smash Ultimate days. Byleth. Yeah, by yeah, Bi Byleth. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah. her name's still. Oh, well, their name sounds weird. <laughs> Byleth, yeah. Weird. Yeah. Byleth, Byleth, Maleth, Kileth, Dileth. Dileth. <laughs> yeah. So. An inter interesting lineup, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you know they they, they know what they're doing the CGI. So it's gonna it looks like it's gonna be a CGI anime just from judging from that, which I'm not too, I'm you know I'm not gonna complain. We've already seen that in the game, so we're you know I, I say right up their alley. And uh, yeah, so I, we don't have much to go off of. We don't know the release date or anything like that. It's just this visual right here. Any uh, comments you wanted to throw in? This is just going to be a father son. Um, what's it called? Road trip. <laughs> yeah, road trip. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see see stuff. Good question. Yeah. I think it'll definitely focus on their journey together because yeah, like we've never seen them actually together other than oh yeah, we're um, you know we just came back from our trip or kind of thing you know, oh yeah, and then we gotta you know deal with this problem, you know, as we come back right, you know? so probably focus on the actual like road trip or journey that they took. Um. Yeah, because this, this is definitely Sin in his Strive Alpha. So I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, this is like the Strive timeline. Not so much like Exert or anything like, like that. Um, yeah. Dual rulers. Wonder what that means, you know? We'll find out, I guess, uh, once it's fully announced. All right, last one for fighting games. Uh, this is Arena Fighter stuff. Uh, featuring Sparking Zero. Yeah. More Sparking Zero. So the producer, uh, Jun Furuya, uh, says that the characters will not be fighting on equal terms like in Fighters, right? It's not, there's not much of a balance, right? And we already knew that. I mean, you know, Arena Fighters tend to be very broken and balanced, right? And, yeah. um, they, now that, now that they actually, you know, fully, like, disclose that, like, being crystal clear about it, I think that's, uh, fine. Uh, basically, if you're Gogeta, then you got a massive advantage playing against an Earthling, it seems, right? Um, according to uh, this Sparking Zero account. I think this is like a news account. Yeah, it is. And then... Um, let me see. Trying to see if there's anything worth noting... Yeah, Spike Chunsoft is still in charge of developing it. Um, the soul of the series is still there, of course. Yeah. Um, so it came from this second question here. What is the appe appeal unique to Sparking uh, series? And the answer was the experience of playing as Dragon Ball character 
as a Dragon Ball character is the most important thing in order to realize that experience. We have prepared many characters in our a particular uh, about effects. When you accumulate energy, the surroundings move around, and you, when you fully charge, rocks break. Uh, this sounds like a very direct translation, so uh, bear with it. We believe that the experience of the power of a super warrior can be felt from such things, and we are pursuing it. Even though it is a, uh, it's the same fighting fighting game, rather than a, uh, rather than fighting strictly on equal terms like Dragon Ball Fighters. Is designed to focus on Dragon Ball like action. In that sense, the strong characters in the game are strong, and the weak characters are, uh, are and the weak characters have a hard time. So, yep, I mean, that's always been the nature of these games, um, even in, within the uh, Dragon Ball scope. <laughs> I like this gift right here. It's got Yamcha trying to fight Omega Shenron <laughs> with this little spirit ball thing he did, he does. And then, um, yeah, and then Omega Shenron's fucking red ball thing, death, whatever ball, fires it, blows up the part of the planet, you know? Yeah. Check out my extra large spear ball. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny because, um, in the past, I have tried um, different like combinations. So like, yeah, like for example, like uh, Omega Shenron's big old red ball thing versus like um, Tian's freaking little finger laser thingy that he did. That he does the the Donpa in Japanese. But um, of course, that gets shitted on, <laughs> right? You know that type of thing. Mm hmm. When it comes to like equal like terms. Um, they, I think it just like dissipates or something. I think nothing happens. I think I I could be wrong, or or the Earth still explodes or something. I I have no I forget, I forget. It's been a long time. Um, but stuff like that. I I um because they're pretty much putting so much more detail. Um, I definitely look more forward to it than ever because of like, um. Oh, uh, what was it? I think this guy has has something on the stage stuff. I want to say, let me see. Oh yeah, the stuff with Hercule, man. Oh man, or Mrs. Satan. Um, lo already looking great. Uh, I think he's. I think people are saying he can't fly or something. I, I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe he can stay in the air for like a little bit. Just to even be playable, because he doesn't have a jetpack, but he's like been, he's like in the air somehow. I saw footage of him like running like a madman, so that's you know obviously like her uh, very Mr. Mr. Satan. Um, yeah, like yeah, yeah, even with um Yamcha's uh, spirit ball thing, he it looks really cool already. The camera angles and everything. Uh, where was it? What was it? Oh yeah, they, they got costumes in there, and so they even like they got the the super, the Dragon Ball Super outfit for eighteen already. So that's cool. Um. Oh, I wanna I wanna play fucking Beast Gohan for sure. Oh my god, I cannot wait for that. Along with uh, well, I forgot I forgot the form for Piccolo. What was it? it was like it's just like orange Piccolo or something. Yeah, it's like orange big glow. Yeah. I wanna play as baby. Baby. But not in Vegeta. Yeah. Just baby. Just baby, yeah. Baby in, in the in the tube. Mm -hmm. I wanna play like that. Okay, right here, like um not the exact example, but it pretty much says the same thing. So like whenever they attack I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this. So they do the attack, right? And then look at this. Look, look, look. there's the announcer from the Burukai stuff. He's like doing his little commentary thing, and then the you see the audience like running away and stuff like that. Like they actually put the extra mile, right? They went the extra mile to put in put in that detail.
And look at this. The, the, the explosions and stuff like that. The battle damage. Oh wow. Like look at look at this whole sequence. Like it still looks it looks so much cooler than ever. Like my god. It's crazy. It actually is like crazy of how much more they put into the game. I forget which engine they're using. Is it the Unreal Engine? Um, the newest one or whatever. Oh god, like, like look at look at the effects. It's so crazy. That is really wild. Is that the god uh final flash or whatever? But yeah, look at look at how like like Goku gets like consumed in the blast. It's so cool. I like that white the black and white effect thing at the end. It's really sick. Yeah, even 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 just as a arena fighter, it looks lit. Looks really cool. Now, of course, as a um, you know, Tenkaichi Budokai game, you got a lot of Goku's and you got a lot of Vegeta's. That's kind of like a tradition at this point, because of how many forms they get. And you even got some, you got, uh, Kid Gohan, you got Adult Gohan, and then the Super Saiyan forms, right, for Gohan. You got one Piccolo, you got one Grillin. <laughs> you know? But man, look at all these Goku. You, you, you got, like, dead Go. you got dead Goku. <laughs> got the Halo and everything, that's funny. Um, you got the God Gokus. Yeah, look at that. Base Vegeta, Ozaru Vegeta, and then Vegeta after Namek or something. Super Saiyan Vegeta. That's Super Vegeta for sure on the side right there. Vegeta when he died. <laughs> Majin Vegeta. This is a Vegeta and Super, I'm assuming. And then Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super. <laughs> Oh my god, this is, this is so funny. So funny. And of course you got the god Vegeta's right here as well. Funny how there's two dead Gokus. One Super Saiyan and then one regular. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's just a whole bunch of these like forms and stuff. When it's like very like like minuscule, like, oh it's it's it, this is this is dead Goku but in Super Saiyan form. But, oh, but this is Dead Goku, but in Super Saiyan 2 form, and then the in Dead Goku in like Super Saiyan 3, and then, <laughs> and then you have Super Saiyan Vegeta right here, you know, from Z, but you have also Super Saiyan Vegeta from like Super. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like it's so funny of how they pull this stuff off, you know. Uh, it's it's funny. Who Who else has a lot of forms? That's it, right? That's for that's just Goku and Vegeta, yeah. I mean, on a technicality, what you have Cell, you have uh, Majin Buu. Well, Cell has just three. Yeah, three. Frieza has like four or five, right? Because like you got the gold, you got the, you got the gold Frieza. But I wonder if they'll form one. You yeah, have form one, form two, form three, final form. And then gold. oh no 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 don't forget he has final form max power. Because that was a thing in the um, oh, yeah. in Tenkaichi, and then and then now they've, they'll for sure throw in gold of uh, gold Frieza, and if you count the manga, right, he even has yeah. the black Frieza or whatever. It's kind of minor spoilers, but I don't know what the fuck that does. But anyway, um, it makes him do the Macarena. Yeah, in light speed. Nice speed. Yes, yes. Very 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 dangerous. I know. Yeah, I know lore. Yeah. Very, very, um, very dangerous. Um, <laughs> there can only be one, and it's fucking <laughs> Hercule or uh, Mrs. Satan in the mirror, <laughs> visualizing in the mirror the man I want to become. <laughs> oh, my, you gotta love Mrs. Satan. Anyway, um, oh yeah, 
<laughs> That's right. Cell's dead. So, I mean, obviously, but there's a Halo cell. So, are they going to include that cell in there? <laughs> uh, and then 18 died in GT, I guess. And then, boo, dead, yes. Oh, are they going to include Oob? It, like, what? What happened to Oob? Dead. Forgotten. Yeah, like, he's so, he's super forgotten. He's super forgotten because Oob was in um, the end of Z. So where's Oob in the fucking super? Wow. Like, that, that, if there's a forgotten character, it's Oob. Like, like, he, have you watched Super? Here and there. Here and there? I, I haven't watched Super at all, I, so... Uh, uh -huh. I only watch Super... Like, fully? I only watch Super during um, the tournament. Yeah, the tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understandable. That's it. And you didn't see Oob at all in there, right? No, right? It's, it's like, wow. They they completely... <laughs> yeah, for, completely forgotten Oob. When Oob is like... The reincarnation of uh, Boo. Unless... No, 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 no. Because in GT, Oob fused with Boo, so he became Super Oob or whatever. So, like... <laughs> but that's GT. But... This is... Ah, man. That, that's... That's, like... That's wild. Okay, see, uh, there's, um... The Super Oob or whatever. Um, yeah, and he's, and he's a pupil for Goku, so, like, what the fuck? That's, that's crazy. Let me see. Oh, okay, there is something for... Super good human kid. But because he's a newborn, he won't be... Oh, so this is, like, okay. Okay. Well, that's weird. That the timeline is weird then. What the fuck? Huh. So what was the ending for uh Dragon Ball Z then? Like when when did that take place? Hmm. Weird. 300 years ago. 300 years. Oh cool. <laughs> um Yes, Universe Survival Saga. Um Oh, so he didn't even, like know about oob okay although very young brilliant martial artist okay i guess that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah see because he because then then you have the dragon ball z part peaceful world saga and then you see who oob right here fighting goku in the tournament So I guess Super is like somewhere in between the ending of Dragon Ball Z. That's so weird. And of course you have um G the, the GT stuff. Yep. Yeah. Oh Majub, that's what it was. Majub, because they fused together permanently. Which is funny because um I think he got his ass beat by <laughs> um Baby. Um, let me see. Yeah, you got his ass beat for sure by by Super Seventeen. But uh, okay, he also appears in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay. Well, anyway, I I I hope he appears. I hope he appears in his like fighting form or whatever. Because, okay, so, it all, it, it makes a little more sense, but at the same time, it's like, huh, then that means the ending of Dragon Ball Z is actually way, way beyond, at least a lot of parts for Super. Okay. Very strange. I don't know. Yeah. The, the DBZ franchise, after Z got, got wonky yeah it did it definitely did get wonky for sure booby that's that's a weird name for it 
Um. Wait, mentors. King Choppa. Oh, I remember this guy. He was from Dragon Ball. Yeah. Oh man. I I love Dragon Ball, man. Oh. So many so many cool characters. Oh, that maybe maybe King Choppa was the one who trained Oob until he was until he uh he turned ten. Uh, okay, that's cool though. I like that he was still included somehow, <laughs> somewhere. Man, good times. All right, anyway, I think we went on quite the tangent ish. Um, but yeah, I mean this game is coming along. Um, the only important thing is that um, they will have split screen. Local multiplayer confirmed. Added due to uh, fan feedback. And it says that uh, they could only do it exclusively in the time, cha time chamber stage since it was a last minute uh, addition. So yeah, it even says here. After con uh, careful consideration, we have decided to implement the split screen multiplayer mode exclusively within the hyperbolic time chamber stage. Um, huh, that's that's interesting. I wonder why it can only work on uh, one mode or one stage. Hmm. Hopefully they'll like update it as we go along, you know, like more local, mo lo mo local multiplayer stages then. But at least it's in there. At least it's in there for sure. You know? Will, pe will people get tired of the, um, the time chamber stage quick? Yeah, probably. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It, it it does suck though that it wasn't even like in mind when they first started this game in development. Mm. Yeah. Which is like, you know, kind of appropriate nowadays. Like a lot of things is on just online multiplayer, online multiplayer, online multiplayer. Which is a kind of a stinker, if you ask me. Because you know, we we both come from the era of like couch co op, you know, that type of stuff, local multiplayer. You know, play with your friends in real life kind of thing. But nowadays, it's like, you know, it's all on Discord, you know, or or people are just too yeah. busy or, you know what I mean? That type of stuff. And uh, um, any other comments for Sparking Zero you may want to say or you have anything? I know the roster at launch is going to be huge. Yes. I'm just scared if they plan to do DLC characters. Yeah, it's it is kind of like uh like how they're going to go about it? Like are they going to be like just you know, traditional paid DLC? Are they actually going to make make them free, but you know, like maybe a catch to it or you know, hopefully like they don't go crazy on the live service stuff, you know. Hopefully there's like no gotcha stuff or any or anything like that, like that either. Because I know a part of these games is adding the capsules. And, you know, these capsules add abilities to the fighters. Like, they make them stronger or whatever in some ways. Um, it makes them, like, go faster or, like, you know, it just gives them more stats and other crazy abilities. You know? So, hopefully, they don't, like, make it so, like, oh, it's pay to win, you know, kind of thing. So otherwise, I'm just gonna like uh, record like the super attacks and like all the like animation stuff like that, and I'm done. Maybe I'm done after that, you know. Um, maybe play like the story mode or whatever, the arcade mode, whatever you want to call it for each character. You know, see their endings, see their beginnings or whatever. That's it. Play like it's a um a single player game, honestly, because. No way, no how, or uh, maybe I'll play a little bit of the online multiplayer, but that's just gonna be so broken, you know. Whether it be the netcode or like just a balance, quote unquote. Because everyone's gonna pick, pick, pick um, Gogeta or blue hair, blue, blue Goku or blue, blue Vegeta, 
um, Jiren or like fucking, you know, all those fighters. No, you know, I mean, people will try, will pick to pick um, Mr. Satan, but no one's gonna pick Kurelin. No one's gonna pick Yamcha. You know, very few people will. Kind of thing. Yeah. Same with Tian. You know, those kind of type of characters, man. But hey, you know, there is something for all of us, you know, whether you want to just play by yourself or you want to play with the co co you want to co-op play with people, right? Couch co-op uh, or you want to go online and be competitive about it. You know, there is something for everyone, I guess, for these games. Besides looking really cool. Alrighty, um, there is one thing to talk about for Frontline. It's not so much like, eh, it's not huge news, but it does come from another thing that is huge depending on who you are, kind of. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Alright, so... <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with this, right? So there was big, big, big news on uh, Twitter slash X, right? Yeah. A big update by yours truly, Elon Musk, that he pretty much... A stupid update. Yes, very, very, very unnecessary and stupid. That um, he decided it was best to hide the likes, make them private for some fucking reason. Now, you can only oh, see... No, the, the, there is a reason. It's because... He got caught looking at like weird ass shit. <sighs> and so he's like, oh, you know what? I got to protect people from finding out that you like weird ass shit is like, am? Yeah, like maybe like furry stuff or some 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 weird thing that uh, I think one of the one of the screenshots was like a video said like something about smacking your your you wang, oh. you bad boy. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Like, that looks cool. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are calling this out. Like, this is stupid because sometimes, or not sometimes, most of the time you would find like others. Um, you'll find like, you know, just regular artists through your own friends, like mm -hmm. liking their artwork and stuff. Yes. I even uh, put in a response. Let me see. Where was it? No. Did he delete it? Mm, it is. Oh, there you go. There you go. So there was somebody talking about it, right? Right. Um. And. Musk himself made a quote tweet saying, important to allow people to like posts without getting attacked or for doing so, right? It's like, okay, I can kind of see that for, for some situations. It's like, oh, you like this post? Like, uh, it could be like political or some, you know, again, maybe some furry shit or some like, and it, uh, not safe for work stuff like, oh man, why would you like this? Blah blah blah. But like, I said, and a lot, of, a lot of people said, not just me. Why not just make it an option? Why not like, why 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 does it have to be forced on everyone? Why why do all of our likes have to be private? And like you were saying, like you know, um, it's a way for artists to be found, in a way. Yeah. Because you you can see like, oh this per like this popular person likes this art. Let me check out this artist, right? And that's how, that's another way to discover people, right? It's like, but then, but now you had to go out your way to retweet it. Sure, you can retweet it. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, it's, yeah. it's pretty much like, oh yeah, I don't know how people said like, wow, him taking over Twitter, Slash X made it better. It's like, no, he did not. He did not. No, really it was so, yeah, <laughs> it was like running really well. Literally, it was running r really well until his ass bought fucking Twitter. Do you remember when, before, before Elon Musk, do you remember when 
artists put their art, it actually showed the full picture, right? Without yeah. clicking on it. But when, and that was a problem before, right? Where um, Twitter, like the cropping on Twitter was like really shitty at times with, with when you post pictures and, and art. So like some, and, and, and that can actually like really change a person's like first impression just by, just by looking at it like, oh, you know, why, you know, uh, why is it like cropped to just um, this character's like upper body or something when it's like, you know, yep. full body or more full body or something. But when he bought it, it somehow reverted back. It's like, what the fuck? Like, how do we go back on things? That's so weird. Ugh. You know? And a lot of the, like, the uh, the small little convenient features went away. It's like, like, highlighting stuff, moments. All that shit is, like, I think locked behind um, the subscription shit. Like, it's so stupid. Calling it X on top of that. It's like, oh, my God. So dumb. So, so, so stupid. It's just one step closer to, um, making people, like, completely leave as a majority. At least we, we, we both have Blue Sky accounts, for sure. So we're ready. But man, it, it sucks because Twitter is such a, like, big, big platform for a number of people. Especially artists. Yep. So yeah, some for some and then for someone like Elon to uh step in and just like completely take a shit on it, it's like oh my god. And then also, well, if you want to see your uh, your posts, you know, better before everyone to see you know see it in a better way, pay eight dollars. Mm -hmm. like, but why this platform form was free? Right, so that means uh, for for the ones who don't pay, that their shit is not gonna show up as well. It's like, yeah, it it, it fucks with the algorithm. But apparently, they tuned it so that you know smaller tw the smaller posts or whatever show up more or something. I I don't know. That was uh, apparently yeah, apparently some sort of update. I don't know. By the way. The like, uh, I mean, you can, the, of course, on your own end, you could see who likes your posts. You can't go on like, um, here, let me pull up an example here. Elon Musk, right? Oh, can't see what he likes, you know, can't see what the artist likes, right? So that way you can't like, um, see what they also like and you know further discovering more artists you know um let me see well anyway i think i think we get the point it's stupid it's, it's it was completely unnecessary it was a way to it was a it was further way to discover stuff and he and he just took it away just like that no no good reason when it could have been just an option, it's like why, why, why force it on everyone? You know, some people don't don't mind showing off their likes. I certainly don't. I mean, it's not like I, like uh, I put uh, you know, click on like the really weird shit or like the really violent stuff. You know, yeah. violent stuff or you know the not simple word. That's why, like I, I, I was like, why is he doing this? If you like weird shit or not safe for make an old account. Yeah. Like every don't, normal person. Yeah. Don't don't go don't go horny on main, man. That's that's it's like that's I will. There was that one I think it was I think it was Seth or somebody was like, Za, what is this? And I was like, what? Oh crap. <laughs> unlike. Yeah. He's like unlike <laughs> on Twitter. I was like, shit. Yeah. I was like, hey, it was good art. Safe, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. You have to save, you know, so you can look back at it for reference. Yeah, yeah, for reference, sure. 
All right. Oh yeah, and then I forgot the, of course, the uh, one of the celebrities, how they reacting and stuff. So Mark Hamill, of course, has always been like against a number of like of things, especially with Elon Musk, right? So he's prote protesting the social media site um, by just saying like 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 yeah yeah like, on other other just people's show, posts. Like, why why he's liking this? And... Yeah. But again, there are those big brain people making fun of him and stuff. And it's like, <sighs> it's like, I'm sorry, Elon's not going to fuck you. Yeah. He ain't going to give you money or give you a fucking plug up your he's butt or anything. He's just $8 every time. Yeah, he just... Yeah, he's just taking your cash. That's it. That's all. That's all he wants, really. It's just cash from you, not your fucking um, devotion or whatever. He's not gonna notice you, you know. Elon Musk, please notice me. Senpai, notice me, please. Oh. You know. I like this comment right here. It says, "Truly, he is a lone rebel fighting uh, rebel fighting bravely against the evil empire." Yeah. He truly is Luke Skywalker. Both in and out of Star Wars. You know? So I like um, Mark Hamill for doing that. You know? Definitely like uh, DP uh, People's Champ type of thing. Yep. Alright. Let's get on moving with the uh, games news. So let me just hit this. <laughs> all right so in games news um so uh ikumi nakamura who a while back started her own um studio after you know um stepping away from what was it it was the one that made a uh, ghostwire tokyo um i i i Oh, Tango. That's what it was. Tango. I think it was. Anyway, so she made her own studio, right? And um, uh, met up with uh, Hideki Kamiya, who also stepped away from another uh, a big another big studio as well, which was Platinum Games. And so he's been on his own for quite a while now. I don't know if he's still making YouTube content, but uh, whatever. He met up with uh, Nakamura-san, and they, uh, you know, are just having fun or whatever. So they're just, like, posing together. And so, yeah, hence, they're at this, like, one of the gates in Japan. And um, they're just, I don't know, they're just, they're just having fun. What does that mean, really? Um, well, he did he did visit this, her, her studio. So, hey, I mean... Um, it could mean that, hey, maybe he'll join the studio at some point, or I don't know. But, you know, probably if it's just visiting as a friend, you know. Not sure what the exact poses are from, but uh, some people uh, are pointing yes. to, to Yusuke uh, um, pose for, you know, for Kamiya's pose. is like, oh, is that a, is that a Yu Yu Hakusho reference? Um, yeah. The Tango Platinum crossover we never got. Yeah. Yeah. See, honestly, I'm starting to think that, you know, because of, like, how Tango was, like, shut down just like that. I'm, I'm starting to think that the next, like, major studio to shut down is Platinum. Honestly. Like, I, I, I don't know how they can stay afloat. I mean... Yeah, and I don't think Bayonetta alone will help, like, sustain the company. Honestly, I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, do you have anything? Well, do, do you agree or disagree or, or whatever on that? I'm just going to be neutral and just see what, what 
what this is gonna develop. Okay. So, you, know, you might say the wrong thing, say the wrong or right thing, and you know, right stuff happens. But for at the moment, they're having fun. Just yeah. Let them have fun. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It'll be more better if they had like someone else in the back, like maybe Kojima. Maybe right. I think I think she visited. Uh, yeah, she visited Ko- um, Kojima's Kojima studio. studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know about uh, Kamiya song. I don't know if Kamiya may- paid a visit at, at some point. Probably not yet. But yeah, cool man. I um, you know, they got together. They're having fun. You know, joking around a little bit. You know. Yeah, it's it's so funny. It says unemployed Hideki on his uh, account right now. So yep, just thought I uh bring that up. All right, so Capcom put out a survey uh for franchises fans wants to see return the most, and it one of the one of the names that come to mind for sure is Dino Crisis, you know. Um, yeah. So in yeah. fact, yeah. So what? Uh, if if you want Zawa, do you would um uh, can you um uh, read the top ten going from ten to ten uh, ten to one? Top ten of franchises that fans want a sequel to. Yeah. Number ten, Breath of Fire. No one remembers that shit. <laughs> uh, a few people. It's very. It's a. It's a very niche, niche. JRP, JRPG. Yeah. I forget. Number nine, yeah. Onimusha, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I think the last one, Onimusha, was um, Dawn of Dreams or Dreams of something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. What the manga? Right behind me. Mm-hmm. I think that is the manga. <laughs> Holy shit, it is. And it was made by Udon. Oh, okay. I think it was only two parts because it did not sell well. Oh, man. That sucks. Yep, okay. Oh, okay. I, I did definitely see that. Uh, next is Ace Attorney. I thought Ace Attorney was doing okay, and it's just taking a like a long hiatus. Uh, Ace Attorney was one of their like good good franchise. Like, yeah, it doesn't need to go like out every year. It could just wait like a few years and come out. They haven't. Well, to, well, to beef technical, I guess mm. they actually have not done anything for Ace Attorney. So I guess that falls into the category of. Deserving a sequel, or whatever. But they just came out with the uh, what do you call the collection or whatever you call it. Yeah. That's... So, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they just put Number it seven. out. Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Number seven, Okami. Okay, that one's a little. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, Okami is kind of like you're gonna have to go through some hoops and ladders for this. And why is that? Because um, it's an Okami, like, it is Capcom franchise. Yes. Right? Isn't it own, like, Clover Studios, that's why. Mmm, yeah. So, on a, on a technicality basis, we don't, I don't know who actually owns it. Yeah, I think, I th- well, I think they have the rights to make it, right, for Cap- Capcom making it, for the most part. Um, yeah, they, I mean, yeah, that's because they, they developed it. They're not, they don't necessarily have the rights to it. You it's Capcom that, that it's Capcom stuff. So it's the same with, um, uh, with like Metal Gear, it's, uh, Konami, you know, it's not, you know, Kojima's thing or whatever. It's that's, that's Konami's thing. That's Konami's property. Same with, same with Okami. So, number six, good luck <laughs> versus Capcom. Yeah, the versus Capcom game. I'm I'm actually surprised it's that low. I thought it'd be a little higher. 
that's weird considering how you know how volatile people are when it comes to like cap yeah versus... how very vocal we are yes yes for the versus series yeah all right next number five dark starters <laughs> nobody remembers that 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 game series it's you a... only know nowadays you only know the character through uh likes and reposts in marvel marvel 3 is morgan <laughs> yeah yeah no you mean um infinite oh god oh <laughs> man they 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 did her dirty oh man they did a lot of the females in that game dirty. They, they, I'm gonna say they, that game got done dirty. That, that whole game got like, done dirty for sure. Thanks to uh, Marvel and Disney. All right, number four, Resident Evil. What? Like they want Resident Evil? They want die. more. They want more sequels, man. They want. They want more. Um, what? Where is it right now? Is it like? Oh yeah, it was eight. Yeah, they left it on eight. Yeah, the last so, one is Balage. Yeah, Vil uh, Village, yeah. So they I guess they wanna really see nine. Resident Evil nine. It's that popular. Yes. Yeah, well, what's number three? Let's, let's... Number three is Devil May Cry. Okay, story wise, it's done to me. Like Yeah. Yeah. Dante Dante and Virgil are whacking each other off in hell. <laughs> yeah. Fucking okay, Nero found his um happy ending. Yeah. And he embraced like his devil side of the gene. Yes. Kyrie is is, you know, the wifey. Yes. So you could say in a sense it's Ichigo and Orihime. Happily married. Yeah. Han and everybody. Sorry mm -hmm. yeah. for those Ichigo and Rukia. There was no chemistry between them. Yeah, just good friends, but other than that, yeah. yeah. I don't think it called for romance, but I don't know. Yeah, that's just me. Uh, Mega Man is number two. That that I'm not surprised. That I'm not surprised. That I, I'm not yeah. surprised, but good luck. Yeah. I it's, like what yeah. can you do with Mega Man? Do a full on reboot? Like, yeah. Like it it was tried. Yeah, because they did ten right, and it was like okay, it was like all right. That's it. They actually did the Mega Man Man Ten, and it's like it wasn't like a like a blockbuster fucking like oh my god like you know broke broke records. We did and, it? Yeah. It's like no. It's just playing yeah. off of nostalgia at, at that point. Yeah, they kind of like went back on it. Yeah, like the to the classic thing. I feel like they need to. Uh, I don't know. It's it's hard to say because obviously the Mega Man fans are gonna be are gonna be like, oh man, this is the not the Mega Man I wanted or whatever. Like I don't know. They got they gotta like do something different a little bit for for Mega Man. Like give it more of that sort of like that uh triple A treatment. You know, do something wild with it. I say to like you know kind of kind of like what they did with Zelda, right? Like Breath of the Wild. How did it do well? It's a fucking open world game, like an actual open world game, you know. Same with fucking the sequel for it, you know. Obviously, so I, I, I feel like yeah, Mega Man needs to do something like that, whether it be like an actual like action game or whatever, or, or you know something. You need to just bring bring back legends and just yeah. I test the waters with that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think Legends is like the way to do it. I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure if Mega Man himself, like the Mega Man, is gonna do it. I don't know. Uh, you want box art uh, Mega Man or whatever? Oh, the, 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 yeah, the box art Mega Man. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, so what's number one? The number one. Which everyone thought that that game was the remake or the reboot for Dino, for a lovely game called Dino Crisis. It wasn't. We got lied to. Yeah. So number one is yeah Dino Crisis, but um, right. Exo Primal, 
yeah, Exo Primal was that was, was like was the one that that uh-huh. that we all like. Wow, she looks like Regina. No, it's not. It's like oh, yeah, cry. <laughs> and it's got dinosaurs. Like so, yeah. It's like it's got dinosaurs. So how could you not think, right? You know. Yeah. Sad thing is that Mega Man right now, I think is going through the mobile game thing. Same with uh, Devil May Cry. There is a mobile game for it too. Now that I remember. <sighs> so. I, yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I wanna search you too. Just, just for shits and giggles. Mega Man. Like, I think there's some sort of, like, Mega Man online game or whatever, but it's only, like, in China or, like, uh, Korea or something. I think. I could be wrong on that. But it's not worldwide. I can definitely tell you that. But I'm surprised, yeah, Breath of Fire, huh? Made it to number 10. That's, like, huh? Surprise Red Earth. I wonder where Red Earth was. Like what place it was. Yeah. Now I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Is there a link to the fucking survey? Probably not. I'm sorry. I'm on YouTube right now to to, to see um to see something with Mega Man because you were saying like games. There's a slot machine. Yes, of course. Oh. Yeah, rock, rock man. And I'm, I'm just look. I'm like looking. I'm like, mm. <laughs> like yeah. Ooh. I'm pretty sure there's a slot machine or uh, what do you call it, the pachinko machine for like yeah, all these, all these, uh, the the nine games right here. Breath of Fire, no, probably not. But Onimusha, all this stuff, yes, there probably is. At least at some point, you know. Um, let me see. I'm just going to go ahead and search wiki. Where's the, where the franchises line up? Let's see. Oh yeah, they want to ask for Dead Rising. That's funny. That is kind of funny. Um, what are the franchises? Game sales, list of Capcom games. There we go. Yeah, no one asked for Final Fight. No Last Planet. We have something for Ghosts and Goblins, so I can kind of understand that. Yep. No Power Stone, no Rival Schools, no Sengoku Basara, no Star Galadier. No, be- no Beautiful Joe. No Beautiful Joe, sadly. Nope. No Strider. Yeah. Who did? Yeah. No Steel Battalion. I forgot that they made that game. Yeah, Breath of Fire, Cyber Boss, yeah. Damn. Damn. It is kind of interesting, though, right? Number six, like I said, number, number six versus Capcom, right? Dark Stock is over Cap versus Capcom. That's wow, you know? And then Devil May Cry at number three. That's also surprising. Considering that we... It felt like we still uh, we just got a sequel, right? You know, Devil May Cry 5. When did 5 come out? Let me see. When did 5 come out? Hmm. 19. Okay, so it's been... A, wow. It's been about five years. Okay. A little longer than I thought. It somehow still feels recent for some reason. 84 years. Yeah. 
Yeah. Somehow feels still recent for some reason, but whatever. I guess I, I guess it asks for it. But uh, but within the top five, yeah, Darkstalkers, man. I guess if people really want to see Darkstalkers. I mean, they had their chance. But I really hated how the way Capcom viewed it as. <laughs> You're right. You they, really want Darkstalkers back? You gotta buy this game. Yeah, you gotta buy the old. You. Yeah, it's like no, we don't want to buy the old shit. Just make it the new shit. You know, we'll buy it. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, what? They didn't, it didn't make the sales, you know, the sales go to make a new, a yeah. new game. Ah, that means no one likes it, likes this franchise. It's like, that's no. Yeah, that's not true. What the fuck? It's like, get out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right. I think we went on long enough for that. So. Now we can talk about news to wrap it up with visual entertainment and extras. So let's just do this. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> just because it's Keith David. Anyway, so um, so so what's going on with this one, right? This involves with the t Pokemon TCG art contest, right? Okay. So. Break it down so, for us. Break it down for us. It's fucked. But no, um, so this is the illustration contest. I'm guessing it's yearly, so it yeah. happens you know, once a year. Yes. That um, the chosen winner, you know, has their their artwork um, featured on a um upcoming Pokemon card. Mm -hmm. Fucking cool, right? And, you know, just like every um, art contest, there are rules and regulations, hopefully, you know, right? Regulations and um, the do's and don'ts, right? Yeah, the do's and don'ts. No, sit, not safe for work. So yeah. Hilarious if someone slipped it in and it and it won. Like, I'll be like, you, sir. Yeah. You, sir, a ma'am. Good job. Mm hmm. On top of this, there was a uh, top 300 chosen. Yeah. And they showed, like, like here here are the winners. For top 300 for right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's loading all this shit, yeah. Lots of absoles. Actually, yeah, a lot of absoles. I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, the, the EV, yeah. All right. Scroll down one more. So yes. Be, all right. Stop here. Yeah. One of the rules is that you cannot have multiple um, entries. One entry per person. But if you look at from the EV underwater all yeah. on to the one below it, they go the same yeah. person. Yeah. He, he had four counts. I'm surprised even these two like made it because it's the same exact name. <laughs> yep. So, in this person, because we're gonna come back to to this person. Sure. Later. So keep keep scrolling down. More Eevees. For all gears. For all gears. Yeah. My baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your baby boy, whatever, you know. So this ancient Pokemon gets a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. Then of course Pikachu. Ah. Uh, oh look, 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 look. Oh. There's more of him. Mm-hmm. Six accounts. Mm. Man. Keep, keep going. Yeah. But wait, if you go back up to um one more, one more row. Up. That one. That Pikachu. The the the, the flat colored 
Pikachu. The、uh, one on the right? Like, yeah. That reminds me of an old Pokemon card. Like, I've seen that type of. Yeah, that art style. Style. So it's like, wow, this, you know, it's like, wow, that reminds me of, you know, this card. Are you the same artist? Maybe. Yeah. yeah Pikachu, then. A little. The one that can actually kill the Elite Four and carry you in <laughs> the tournaments. <laughs> I can hilariously can carry, can carry you in tournaments back in the day. The fucking beaver. No. Yeah. Flygon. Flygon. That's cool. I like Flygon. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know if those, those were like protective. Yes, they were supposed、um, to be goggles. I thought those、oh, were the eyes. I like, thought that was the eye. Yeah, I was like, "Damn, you I, have fucking big ass red eyes!"、Yep. And, and they're like, "No, it's like, it's in there." I was like, "Yeah, they're like they're they're goggles, <laughs> basically." That's kind of wild, but hey. And finally, we got Charizard. Charizard, yes. It's not a real dragon. Yeah. Gonna sit down. And then some people went. Above and beyond to say like maybe this is how you know it would look. My art would would look. Yeah, with the cards. The card. Yeah, as a card. That's actually really cool. Yeah, this is like really smart. Like if they did win, they already smart, have it. Yeah, they already have it designed. Okay, so yeah, that's. Yeah.、Right. So let's go back to the Pikachu section. Yes. When we saw the the same name again. The the vegan whatever the hell yeah. Well, overall,、uh, very nice artwork. Yeah. Go to Vegan K with the pawn. With the what? The pawn, the 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 water. What? Oh, they, this I I can't click on it, but、yeah. it's just kind of there. Yeah. Okay. And so, and someone like blew it up. Yeah. I know water is supposed to be distorted and stuff. You know to show distortion. But you can kind of see here, it's not distorted.、Mm-hmm. It's just flat. Yeah, it's like very same old, same old. Yeah. They, oh yeah, someone grabbed the. Okay. Yeah. See, there's no distortion. Yeah, and、like、then、it. the, even the, well, yeah, even the feet aren't exactly consistent. I'm not okay. Yeah. Oh、uh, yeah! Yeah, all the pieces by、This、vegan or AI. Yeah. Yep.、Yeah, people. So people are pissed that six slots. Yeah. Or probably more, because we because this was the only one that caught a lot of people's eye. Because it's like, why is this guy's name appearing, but it's like jumbled, you know, differently? Oh, the, there's the EV. Yeah. Yeah, look at the yeah. Look at the feet.、It's、like, what the fuck's going on there, right?、Yeah. You know, it looks it looks so weird.、Uh-huh. It just doesn't look consistent with this EV. You know, yeah. The Vaporeon.、So、yeah. People calling out that this is AI, and how the fuck? Who's the judges? Right. On this. <laughs> just AI. This is all AI, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is AI. So. As artists, is, yeah, this hurts. It does, yeah. Six AI art slip through the cracks. At least, at least. Who knows if、uh, the other ones are not AI or whatever? You know. I mean, I I think this person, uh, at least this person ran through the checks. So it looks like, yeah, the vegan person or whatever, yeah. But we gotta be careful with these check, um, these checks. Yeah, the AI、uh, checks. Like, yeah, because even like really, you know, artists that you know draws draws, they put their stuff, and some of it does say it's AI, AI generated. And it's like, yeah, they like well, I don't know, they like color it in or some shit. I don't know themselves. 
but so yeah so that's the controversy right now is that they're trying to get the attention of the judges and going like you gotta kick this guy out he already broke like three three fucking rules yeah at least yeah the... multiple accounts and put in like multiple submissions multiple entries yeah multiple entries and it's AIR like what the fuck yeah uh, now okay so there is, is was there a rule actually that says no AIR? Oh yeah, official rules. So if you want to bring up, um, where is it? See them here. Click that link. Yeah. yeah okay. Click that link, and it's right on the top. Official right on... contest. Okay. Contest. Okay. Uh, oh, the guy, guideline. Okay, there we go. Or oh, contest rules. Let me let me just see. Yep. Um, let me see. Okay, I think it's just telling you the format. But um, official rules. Let's click on that. And let me let me uh go ahead and search for AI. That's not what we're looking for see yeah it's just stuff that has the word AI or the letters AI in it but let me see and then I'll check in the art submission guidelines yeah just in case yeah mm -hmm. oh there is no rule pertaining to AI, I guess. Let me see if there's like, let me, let me type in gen just in case. Yeah. Contingent agent. No, I, I guess there actually is not a rule pertaining to AI. So technically. In yeah, that... technically, yeah, on a technicality, yeah, they can do this, but still, it's like why? It's very, yeah, very immoral, and it, I mean, yeah. that person already broke a rule, which is multiple entries anyway. Yep. But man, it it really does. It's like a spin in the face, you know, where people like actually work hard on this shit, and then you just have like the few that that person that did AI, and then. It always is that possibility that gets picked. That's that's like fucked. That's fucked up. Because um yeah it, it because yeah it's like well one it already defies the 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 definition of art where it comes from the soul emotions right driven by emotions and all that stuff. AIR AI art is nothing to that sort. It's just pulling from other, yeah, other shit. It's yeah. It's just generating art based off of the, um, what the user decides to put in, you know, and then it generates art from the algorithm based off of the algorithm of all the uh, of all the artworks, whether it's you know online and in, in the cloud or whatever the fuck, you know, or within this pool, right? Yeah. Either either way, it's not it's it's technically not art. It's just it's it's just an image generator. It's just generating an image. It's basically a glorified search engine. It's all it's it's how I how I always see it because you're just typing in words, you know, and um, you, and you just uh, hope for the AI to do it to your liking, I guess, but. Yeah. The people who do this stuff and and actually unironically call themselves artists are just like I don't know, I, I I would not want to talk to those type of people in real life. Yeah. I I really don't. And unfortunately, I believe there are people in in um in my circle who find this stuff impressive, right? To the point where it's like I don't know. They they just don't see it like that, or something like that. I I think I I could be misconstruing it, but 
either way, it's just it's very problematic in the, in the, in the creative side uh, side of things. And um, now, of course, I mean we we've gone over this before. Yeah. And I will say this: AI itself is not the problem. The problem is the people. It's how they're using it. The people are the problem, right? Because obviously AI has its use, right? For for whatever, right? Chat chat GBT or whatever, um, all that stuff. But the, it's it's the people who are like the ones who are like. Oh, I'm an artist by doing this shit, you know, and then no oh, fuck you, I'm an artist kind of thing. That's that's the that's that's the person uh, that's the problem with with the person or persons using them. Not the AI themselves. But obviously, yes, I mean, you know, is it enabling them to do this? Absolutely, sure. But at the end of the day, it's the users themselves that are for the most part problematic in this case at least not so much like you know the tool of itself i mean i guess there could be some arguments going about that like um you know oh you know the real artists also take references from other people's work right yeah but but they put their own spin on it. They put their own spin on it. It's still made by their own hand. Yep. You know, it's 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 still driven by the the emotion and and stuff like that. Their own technique as well. So it so at the end of the day, it's still art. So it's the same thing with music, right? Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of the songs are also references from other music too absolutely absolutely and then like for example i'm writing on that with on hawk of um references or using samples from other um music and stuff the biggest one that did it and they did it beautifully was daft punk mostly all their songs were samples but they you know they did their own twist on it mm-hmm yeah. What was that? Yeah, and there's like so uh, a number of like those you know those power ballads you know those ballad singers yeah. that like do their own take on this one song or certain other songs, and they become like winding up be becoming like some of the most popular hits for those singers. You know, at the end of the day, it's still art because they're they. With their own spin on it and such now yeah if it's a one-to-one -one copy then that's plagiarism that's a that's a whole that's a whole other issue right the issue though it's just that the the AI, the whole ai shit, that's that's not art man that's that's just image generation you're not you're not putting in the demo and, 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 and if anything, right, technically, if we're going to be very technical, the AI itself is the artist, not not the user. The user is just typing in words. They are the producer because they're telling the, the, the artist what to draw. Right. They're not the artist. That That's like that's like fucking um, that's like corporate shit. Like, like, you know, um, breathing and breathing down in the next like. You know, hey, make it more like this. I'll make it like that. And then, like, uh, and then whenever um, it premieres and it does well, of course, the fucking what do you call it, producer, the corporate head or whatever, is gonna be like, yeah, you know, this is coming from my company, blah blah blah, and then to try try to take as much credit they're as gonna, possible. They, yeah, they're gonna take credit. Yeah, they're gonna try to take as All much. All the hard labor and shit, they'll be like, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's like you mean my work? Mm -hmm. like, no, I put the work. No, my I put in the. Work. Yeah. Right. Kind of the same or similar situation with, you know, like, like uh, video games too. Like, you know, just because like you were just talking about it, just because, yeah, Cloverworks works, developed Okami, it's still Capcom's 
you know, property at the end of it, right? Yeah. By technicality, but yeah, morally, it's it belongs to Clover Works because they're the one who ones who brought it to life, right? Kind of similar situation here. Yeah, the AI uh, made it, but you just told it to, you know. The, the the users they just tell it what to do. Um, but at the end of the day, like, yeah, the issue is that they're calling themselves artists. When, like, if you if you call if they call themselves like programmers or users, AI users, all that stuff, I I have no qualms or no no problem with that, right? But. The fact that they're just calling themselves artists unironically and stuff like that, man, that's just, that's fucked. I don't like, I, I just, I, I cannot completely agree with that, you know? And for the people who, who, who tell me like, man, this stuff is impressive, blah, blah, blah like, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't, I cannot be on the same boat, you know? If I know it's AI, it's like, that, that completely throws it out of the window. I am not going to be impressed at all. Maybe I'll laugh at it. Maybe maybe like a like a you know like for comedic purposes, but for, for actually to be impressive, uh, -uh. I'm uh, I'm sorry, man. I don't agree with that. I do not. Hopefully, this art contest uh, art contest will sort things out. And um, at least with vegan anyway, the person in question gets kicked out. Uh, but only time can tell. We, we have to wait and see. I, I hope uh, that person gets kicked. Because it really does look like, yeah. I mean, even just the fact that they, they submitted multiple times, that, sh that should automatically be a red flag. Right. right. But the extra layer is that, yeah, it's this, this does seem like AI art, you know? And let me see if it's, it's so, yeah, like, if you look at this stuff, if you, if you look at these two alone, right, since they have, like, the same exact name, why is it that Eevee looks, looks fine-ish here? But then all of a sudden, this Eevee has like this, like fur, like the fur on top of the head, the fur and the ears. Like, why, 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 what, you know what I mean? Where did those come from? Where did those come from? That's not consistent with the Eevee that we know and such. It's not even consistent here. It's like different. Why the ears, <laughs> why do the ears look different? Why is it all smooth here? Or is it all jagged over here? It's almost like, hmm, it's drawn by different people, right? You know? Yeah. Different person or whatever, right? AI. Thing, you know? Ay, 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 man. Th th this AI thing is out of control, I feel. Very, very problematic in these sort of situations, man. I, I hate I hate this timeline right now when it comes to um this whole thing. It's I mean unfortunately it's it's Pandora's box. It's, it'll it'll never close back in. It's not gonna go away. I, I I do not expect that at all. Unfortunately, but that it is what it is. Man, this this is the stuff that gets me like fucking going, you know. In a in a bad way. I hate it. Honestly, do. Well, anywho, enough of that. Yep. Uh. So. Meanwhile. Uh. Good stuff. The good good side of things. The boys just came out. Right. Three episodes are out. Great. You know, great stuff. Uh, for the most part. It's not perfect. I would say there are some big bumps on that road for right now. Um, 
for me, it is like a lot of these like sub stories that they're trying to like shove in their face. And I would say the weakest one of them all, quote unquote, is the one with Frenchie. Yeah. Um. It's not the not, and then it's not even the problem with the whole bisexual thing. I think it's just like the overall like it's like why, um, because I thought he and Kimiko are going to be a thing or were going to be a thing. But all of a sudden, it's like oh no, it's not happening. You know, even you know Kimiko did the. She says, right, it, like, we're not happening for some reason. Yeah. When I thought with the way with things were established, mm -hmm. it was going to be a start. Now it's like, oh, we're not happening suddenly. Uh, okay. And then, you know, Frenchie, so is like in a relationship, I guess, right now with this dude who apparently, um, whose family got you know, murdered or whatever by Frenchie at, at during, uh, like a hit or something. I forget, um, when he was working for the, that one chick, right. Um, uh, yeah. that we saw previous season. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's something for later for us to see, but for right now, it's like, it's weird because it just like completely stops with Kimiko and Frenchie together. It's like, I don't get it. Why, 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 why did that happen? Right. I don't know. So I, I, I personally don't like that. I find I find that to be the weakest part, if not one of them, right? For the boys. Otherwise, everything else is like, you know, the boys, right? You got the you still have the gore, the violence, Homelander's still Homelander, unhinged, you know. Um you know what I mean? Butcher's still butcher. Everything is still alright, you know. Um I mean I guess the the part with Huey and stuff. Um, you, 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 you said, you said you, you watched all three, right? Yeah. Okay. So the, the stuff with Huey and his mom are kind of like whatever to me. Um, what's another one? MM is like, uh, I, hmm? yeah, MM is okay. Yeah. I was going to, oh, hmm. he's, he's being written or, you know, he's, you know, just the way the character is being written with him yeah. is like. It's like he wants to be the bad guy, but I mean, not the bad guy. He wants to be the, the badass, but it's not showing. Yeah. Like full potentially. It, it's. But I guess because we're in, we're only episode three, mm -hmm. three episodes in, maybe yeah. he's going to have that, that moment time shine. Yeah. But right now, it's not like. Like, ooh, I am invested in you. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because uh, he he took over as leader, and then Butcher is like kind of like you know on the side for right now, because you know. Yeah. But what looks like with the thing with how things are going, he might be coming back fully as a actual leader now. I don't know, maybe de facto leader or something. I, I'm not too sure. But um, obviously, with the stuff with Ryan is very good. I like the um, right how Ryan is like in conflict with, you know, home, uh, with his dad, his real dad. But with all, uh, but you know, he's still like, he still cares for Butcher, even though Butcher like told him to fuck off. Essentially, very, very, you know, said some fucked up shit to, yeah. um, essentially put him, put him put, uh, get him away from the danger, right, himself. But yeah. you know, winds up with homelander because yeah yeah but unfortunately but despite that i like i like i like where they were going with it because you know he, he brian is still like he still cares for him he's like com in conflict like he doesn't want to like do what homelander does but homelander is like you know it's trying to essentially groom him to be like his successor yeah. right he's grooming him and um yeah it's it's fucked up but that's kind of what you sort of one one could have expect from someone like yep. home blinder so that stuff is good right that's great you know it's because it's appropriate obviously yeah it's appropriate and mm -hmm. it is showing my character development for for ryan yes yes another good character development from the first time she was on screen until now is ashley i'm just waiting for her to just lose mm -hmm. it 
you just you just remind me that that scene with uh deep was so funny because like he is so easy to manipulate and then just like um deep is an idiot <laughs> yeah he is an idiot right but i love that um when sage told him like you know he, he's like yeah you're you're, you're fucking soup like act like it you know and he's just like like i'm gonna rip you apart you know for uh, when ashley tried to talk back at him again you know yeah and then just like <laughs> deep just goes off on the deep end it goes off and mm -hmm. it's like but it's funny but then you're like if you're looking at like outside in it's like uh -huh. oh, damn this looks so <laughs> deep you, you, you're forcing this mm -hmm. stop right, right, right you're right. hurting yourself even more mm -hmm. yeah yeah, and then like yeah, like you said, like Ash is just like on that verge of quitting, but she can't because it's like um that fear, right? For for uh yeah, that fear of, of for uh for Homelander, you know, you just never know. And you know, again, Homelander is Homelander, right? <laughs> There's Homelander. Yeah. Then you have Stan coming in. Hmm. Mm hmm. Want to see more shit with him? Right. Um, and then you have, like, kind of st stuff going on with Newman, right? The You know, the p politician lady, you know? Yeah. Pops people's heads off. Um, there's something there going on, but there definitely is something going on uh, with, uh, of course, with Sage, right? And then uh, Firecracker, right? Firecracker and uh, Annie, or Anne or Annie. You know, Star Starlight. Um, kind kind of like she, Firecracker is kind of like the anti Annie or Starlight. You know, yep. funny enough, because she she was essentially hired to take down uh, Starlight. Like that's like her sole like role. Because obviously with yep. yeah, because of what's going on between you know like the you know. Uh, the star team starlight and then what do you call the team homeland or whatever right yep. yeah and then, and of course you got noir black noir <laughs> i want to see where that goes too because we we still don't know how he's alive right like it could be it could be the <laughs> same dude i don't know but like yeah. But he's yeah, like, I don't know if um, mm -hmm. they have a uh, you know um, technology yeah that, yeah that that um, healed him fast or it's a clone or a completely different or person a, yeah or he's a fucking zombie at this it's point zombie yeah I feel like he's a stand-in you know because he's like you know like uh, I can't find like wh like what's wh you know what's my motivation kind of thing he's like you know basically asking like all the the basic actor questions like what am I like what am I supposed to be like where's my storyline or whatever you know and <laughs> and then you know that's mentioned he's talking so it's like you know yeah that's already like you throw it out the door yeah right and then plus <laughs> like yeah, I and I love the scene like uh you know after they like you know beat someone's heads in he heads in, and then yeah. <laughs> Noir is like, okay guys, that was so fucked up or whatever. <laughs> that was really. Fun. Uh, I know, like when he said that this this is so fucked up, I kind of wanted to jump into the screen going like, do you know where you are? <laughs> do you know what you fucking work for? Yeah. <laughs> Wake up. Mm -hmm. And then uh. Another thing too, another storyline is A Train. You know, he's like also <sighs> like going back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing with A Train. Like, I think this is to me personally, mm -hmm. he over he's overstaying his welcome. Mm -hmm. sure. oh, okay. On a personal personal like viewing, he should have get you know, he should have get offed or something like that uh -huh, uh -huh. Season three he should have you, you should like mid like like exited somehow right yeah okay like run into the into a brick wall I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but but yes um with with the new character Joe showing his curly whites like <laughs> are you we know you have a bat no, oh, yeah, yeah. Name Lucille. Mm -hmm. Hurry the hell up. Mm -hmm. Ring it out right now. That would be pretty funny. 
Um, I, and then there was a random little cameo with uh, Will Ferrell. I thought that was really funny. Um, somewhere in there. And then the, oh, God. And then there's um, Simon Pegg's character. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, that's that leads to the whole thing with Huey and then the mom, yeah, right? His Huey. mom, right. Yeah. You know? But, yeah, Hugh, Hugh Campbell Sr., which, again, it's like, I want to say he, he probably has something. You know, like some blackmail. Hmm. You think you think uh, somebody caused the stroke, or whatever he got caused caused it, or probably he might be the one that initiated. You know. Like oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, we still have we we only we're only three episodes in, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. That definitely is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, you have you still have like the shock factor stuff. I mean, fucking firecracker is like what what like right hand man or whatever he was like the mod the he he essentially kind of like a moderator to like some to like a popular female streamer like uh like Pokimane or something you know he's like trying to always like get get on with uh, firecracker but firecracker is like nah <laughs> especially with the awkward like the hug but like no. Uh, you know, does he dodge the hook? <laughs> and then the uh, the scene with with that guy, because uh, he kind of like, is like, um, what's that guy from uh, My Hero Academia? Um, that multiplies. Is he, is he just called Double or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's he's like the the multiply guy, you know, basically. And then, um. He, yes, made a, um, a, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? The train out of himself. Let's just put it that way. Is that saying? Um, <laughs> so, I, um, I, I, I think, I think it's still, you know, the boys. It's still good. It's just, I would probably say, like, probably the weakest start in a long time, um, out of all of them. For, for all these, like, you know, three episodes episode premieres or whatever i would say this is probably the quote-unquote weakest one but there's still like some ju some juicy bits you know with like you know say sister sage and ryan and homelander stuff and ryan and butcher stuff and you know but yeah you know stuff with the mother's mm frenchie and then like the huey stuff for now we don't know what happened with his dad exactly so we'll see um yeah i mean there's there's a lot of sub stories but um or side stories or whatever but yeah we'll you know we'll see there's always, there's always five episodes left so yeah. and those will come out weekly so i'll definitely look forward to those as a, all the other bo uh, boys episodes the thing i did that wanted to also bring up is that um Official word has been dropped from one of the big heads of the production for, you know, Amazon's The Boys, uh, Eric, uh, Eric Kripke, officially stated that if, uh, season five will be the final season for The Boys. So how do you feel about that? On one hand, ouch, but on the other hand... Probably a good approach because when when with shows like this, you know, you can make it run or milk it as as hard as as it can, but then you would just lose. Yeah, you know the, the vision. So cutting it like short while you know the 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 you know the pot is hot. To me, is a good call because again, you you're just gonna run out of steam if you keep like just milking it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it's it. It's just that the final scene has to close a lot of you know chapters. Yeah, yeah. But it has to be done tastefully. It cannot be just like a die, mm -hmm. die, die. It's like no, gotta see, 
why we're going to invest so hard on this final se- upcoming final season. Yes. Or final uh, series finale. I think it's definitely safe to say that they will not follow too much on how the comics ended. It is completely yeah. different at this point. Because I, I think Sister, Sister Sage is a completely new character. So that already, like... You know, we have, if, if 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 it hasn't been said already, that already deviates from the storyline, through and through. Yep. Right. So I definitely don't do not think it, uh, that will happen for sure. Because, uh, yeah, because especially if you look at Black Noir, completely different person, I think. Right. Um, but not only that, like in the comics, you know, sorry for the uh, to spoil it. Right. Once again. Um. Black Noir is a clone, if not a better clone, of Homelander. And um, that was supposed to be like the big reveal and everything. Um, and then kills Homelander, just like that. You know? So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, definitely, definitely can, um, should not happen, you know, with that. And then, like, you know, not to mention, like, uh, the boys, right? The majority of the boys were already soups. Even mother, Mother's Milk, Frenchie, um, even Butcher, I think, is a soup, I think. They're all soups. So, um, so here, completely different, because, like, they're, they're mostly not soups. Of course, Butcher played around being a soup, but he got fucked for it, you know? So that adds the, the tension to it, because he is dying, right? He's got the the black mass and the brain thing going on because yeah tim v fucked him over so point being completely different than the comic book so i don't think they'll do any of the comic book stuff at all maybe like a little bit but you know very little nonetheless and like yeah like you said um uh, hopefully they close all those doors appropriately as much as possible my question though is uh, where 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 do the Gen V people come in, right? Yeah. Because in the trailer somewhere, right? We, we we saw Jonathan. We saw um what's her face um was it Kate or something? Um, the one that controls like the memories or whatever. Like that chick appeared, so we know they're gonna be coming. They're not. We know they're already gonna be coming in. You know. So like. Yeah. Uh, what about like how 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 does that factor into like the finale, right? You know, of the boys. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, of course, besides the virus that Newman has right now. So. Um. Yeah. How how they how 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 is she gonna go out, right? Like. You know, how they're going to off her or what's the final like move that kills her or whatever. Right. I don't know. How is she going to be defeated? I have no idea. Is all minor going to kill her? I'm, I don't know. No idea. Who, 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 who will be the, the final villain? Is it, is it Homelander? Is it Newman? Is it, uh, some fuck boy out of nowhere? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I kind of want to say final, final quote unquote villain. So he can, you know, um, take all the, the hate of supers and, you know, just kill, you know, and he somehow, and, you know, ends himself, you know, to just put an end to supers quote unquote. Yeah. I want to say Butcher. Butcher or Soldier Boy is gonna be that that sacrificial lamb. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a feeling you were gonna could... bring up Butcher, but yeah, like, <laughs> or Butcher might be the one to kill Homelander. Yeah, and then you know, kind of go a little like crazy, or he, he's just too um, like gone, adrenaline, like gone, yeah, adrenaline, yeah. And so he's just not knowing how to stop, and it's probably gonna be Soldier Boy that I have to put him down. Or maybe Ryan, or maybe both Ryan and Soldier Boy will have to put Butcher down. 
Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I think I think Soldier Boy personally will not be anywhere close to being the final boss sort of thing. I I really honestly do feel though like Butcher and or Homeland or Homelander will be those final bosses. I I feel. But again, that's all left for speculation for right now. Yeah. We'll have to wait like what take three? Off, take, take off the tinfoil hat right yeah, now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, 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 yeah. Like for for sure though, I think Butcher is going to die, though. Just so like yeah, yeah, you know, he can kind of close the door. Like oh yeah, now he can be with Becca or whatever, right? That kind of shit. And then Ryan is the one who lives on, you know. Maybe. Or maybe another another maybe another way to end it is maybe somehow Butcher and Ryan go and then um what uh what you might call um so they can go you know be with Becca you know Ryan could be with his mom Butcher could be with Becca they could be all be together in the afterlife right but then somehow because what S Soldier Boy can do to people or soups because he can take away their powers or shut down their powers maybe soldier boy can somehow like before he dies or whatever or somehow whatever can take away homelander but Ho and so also homelander lives but now he lives as a complete human being you know yeah as a normie and as a normie and just like but he's like too much of a bitch to to off himself yeah you know at the whole, got the whole like daddy issues thing, you know, going on type of stuff. That would be like, like damn, you know, that that's a way to like, that's one way to definitely end it for sure. For Homelander to just live as a human, at least at some point. But again, yeah, we'll see. Then follow that now off. <laughs> um, they did say though. That there, that after this, there will be spinoffs and other stuff relating to the boys. So, um, I don't know when Gen V uh, season two will be a thing, right? Is it for between four and five, or is it after five, or I don't know. Yeah, somebody says, please make the final season more than eight episodes. Oh yeah, I forgot to read what uh, what's like official. So, final season of the boys will be eight episodes long. Begin filming in November. Kicking around some ideas uh, for some A list guest stars. So, they're saying that it will be once again eight episodes long. Like, do you feel like that's all right with you, or do you like to see a little more? I'll be. Could be on the safe side it should be 10. that's why i would say like i think they should do 10 just be yeah just be on the safe side or what if these eight episodes right are like like hour and a half or something like super fucking long like jam-packed or something hmm. maybe that could be a one way to like balance it out i guess <laughs> Did they actually put the, some of the script? It could be fake. I don't know. For uh, <laughs> the, the final episodes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's funny. You're playing. You're fondling us, man. <laughs> Alright. Either way, I think we'll all look forward to it. Um, things come to an end, right? All the good things must come to an end. Yeah, I do personally feel that I think it is appropriate time to end it. Why, like you said, like while the, the you know, while the iron is hot or the, you know, why you still have some steam going. Because otherwise, yeah, you're going to start running out of steam. The appeal will start to wear off. Overseas, welcome. I think, yeah, they definitely need to end it on a high note rather than, eh, you know, 
retire when you're already like kind of on a downhill. Yeah. yeah. Kind of tricky with like, you know, sports players, right? Or sports, you know, people who play sports. It's like, yeah, I want to keep going, but at the same time, you know, I had this career, did all these things, achievements, you know. It is definitely tricky in that situation. All right. Let's go through these uh, real quick here. Meanwhile, the actor, I think this is the actor for the live action, uh, like a dragon show. So that actor is a stage show. His name was Eiji Takigawa, who also was another tokusatsu. Mm, okay. Common Rider. Okay, okay, okay. From a different Common Rider. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And then that's, of course, the voice actor for Kiryu. So, yep. uh, Kuroda san is his name. You can kind of see. Can... Funny... Mm, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, and you, it's kind of funny, like the voice actor for Kiryu almost looks like an older Kiryu. That I was just about to say, like, um, they actually, um, let's take some inspiration from his face and then throw that into, um, Kiryu. Like, you can kind of tell about because, like, the, the facial hair right there, yeah. his lower half, especially upper half. I don't, I don't know about that, but yeah, lower half definitely is modeled after, um, Kuroda san here. And then you said this actor also did common writer stuff, Tokusatsu stuff. Yep. Okay. The common writer that he was featured in was common writer Kiva, that appeared in two thousand. Make sure I got my dates correct. Late two thousand eight and went all the way up to two thousand nine. Mm. And he was a butler. Mm -hmm. so to speak for for that for that series which dealt with monsters like frankenstein monsters so you have the wolfman and stuff like that mm, okay okay it, it's not one of my favorites of the common right the heisei period of common writer but i don't know maybe it's like one of those good times to go back and just rewatch it to you know like go like okay why did I hate this again? Or why did I not like enjoy this uh Kamen Rider series? Mm-hmm. Um uh, trying to look in the uh past stuff. Uh, that's not it. I think I actually accidentally erased it. Um yeah, okay. Anyway, sorry about that. It's so, gone forever. Yeah. In your head, you're doing the Spider-Man scream. No! No! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so live action Kiryu meets the real Kiryu, I guess you can say. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little, a little weird because, yeah, he's a voice actor for Kiryu, but he also is like modeled kind of after himself or they modeled him to Kiryu. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't exactly look like him, but kind of does, sort of, not really, a little bit, but yep, pretty, uh, pretty neat photo. All right, so next one up, this one is, oh yeah, just a little meme, I guess. Um, I like how, like, people are trying to, like, like, put logic into how, you know, into these, like, kaiju stuff. So you know how like uh you know Godzilla always somehow is on top uh, on the surface just yeah. moving through <laughs> people put someone drew this out but this is the like um what it what his legs would look like or something in some case cases <laughs> somebody wow somebody actually uh think he's farting or something constantly uh, which is funny because um, 
I, uh, that's what happens in One Piece, where you know, you know, like uh, Zo, you know, that big ass elephant that has the island on his yeah, back. Zoe. Yeah, um, that's how that's how it actually works. They have like really long legs so that they actually hit the ocean floor, which is kind of funny. Probably it's maybe, maybe it's also like that uh, other scene, the iconic scene with um, Shanks and Luffy in the water, like. Shanks no. is perfectly still, but then they someone animated like his legs are kicking. Yeah, this kicking. <laughs> Shit. I saw. <laughs> so I, don't I, drown, don't drown, don't drown. I saw that. I saw that. Someone, someone made another one. It's like, yeah, it's his tail or something, and he's kind of like that too. He's just constantly like <laughs> moving. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. Face. Oops. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, like that, basically. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Mm -hmm. Yep. Basically. Or someone making him fart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, I think in one movie, they do kind of point it out. Like, he just has, like, um, like, air bubbles or something. He just emits air bubbles throughout his body so he can stay buoyant or something. I forget which one. I feel like there was a movie that explained that or tried to explain that. Um, it might have. It might have been minus one actually. It might have been minus one, which is how they did, they came up with the plan in the first place to you know like drop him and then decompress him and then bring him back up or some shit with the whole air tanks thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which a lot of people kind of like at the moment when you're watching it at the moment, it they're not kind of getting, but from the fast pressure building when he's going back up, like yeah, you can see him getting bloated, but that guy is fucking dying on the inside. Yeah. He's hurting. Yeah. And it is still willing to or he is still willing to fire off an atomic breath. Which is why, like, you can kind of see it, like, happen, like, come out of his body, too. It's like, oh, But isn't it, like, kind of a bit of a plot hole, though? Because, like, um, yeah, they, like, yeah, like, his internal organs can withstand the energy of, uh, nuclear shit. But, like, a bomb can blow his head off and he's just, like, dead, just like that. It's like, you know, eh, you know. Just, I guess it's just one of those things, you know what I mean? It's like, why, why did, why did they say like, oh, Superman can jump, leap over a building when he can just fly or something? It's like, <laughs> it's like it's just one of those things. How can Wonder Woman see her invisible jet when it's invisible? You know, how did she find it? <laughs> Magic motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> There, there was a segment like that on Cartoon Network. It, it was just like making fun of all the like the tropes of the classic DC characters or whatever. It's like, oh, how can you do this when it's when he actually uh, when it's like this or, so, or something, especially especially with the uh, Wonder Woman and the invisible jet, which still makes me fucking laugh. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's you see this jet, right or quote unquote see the jet and then you see the fucking the 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 the, the wonder woman and flying with someone else it's just like so if you were to be in that world right wouldn't it just look like just them sitting and they're like just floating through the air real fast oh man i always think about that stuff you know yeah like you know those like little, little plot holes or just like those weird things, you know, kind of like that here. It's like, yeah, how can he sh shoot atomic breaths, right? This like powerful thing when a bomb in, in, inside his mouth was, was what kind of killed him or at least damaged him, like actually damages him. It's weird, you know, but Whatever. It's a movie. It's a Godzilla film. Whatever. Anyway. 
<laughs> I like the the illustration. It just says, "Yes, Godzilla, King of Legs." <laughs> no, it's, like, it's like just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's not hurting you. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yes, he is. It's like, okay, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> he got, yeah, he got it. Is. <laughs> it's funny, too, like, um, when you look back on minus one, <laughs> when, um, you know, there's that, uh, there's the building with the, the news crew, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't really, like, destroy the building. He kind of just walked by it, but his, like, thighs just, like, actually what brought it down. <laughs> So he, he was like, "God damn you, fat, you fat fuck! You yeah, a salad. Yeah. <laughs> throw it at him." Yep. Yeah, man. His thighs and his feet, and I think his foot also got caught in the building or something. It it's funny though because it does look like his thigh was what brought the building down. So it's like, "Damn, you thick, man." <laughs> that thickness actually kills somebody or some bodies. <laughs> You could say. And someone having fun over there. <laughs> yep. Exactly. All right. Last one. Day. Last speaking, one. Sp uh, especially uh, speaking of Tokusatsu, um, I didn't, I, I guess apparently uh, Will Smith is a, is a big Ultraman fan. And um, he even, he even does the, the pose from time to time. And uh, they even had like a, they even had him on like on the show in Japan. And um, he 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 was surrounded by um, you know people people in Ultraman suits, and he was like happy, like I, he was super fucking happy. I, my my dumbass mind is thinking of that meme with oh, the, the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what? I would watch <laughs> begin. <laughs> yeah, but now the question is, who's the bigger Ultraman um fan, Will Smith or Del Toro? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know if it's true or not, but Del Toro said that he would love to do an American adaptation of Ultraman, but be faithful to the series. So it's like, you know what? Go right ahead, because it's monsters. It's right up your alley, Del Toro. You're going to have fucking a uh, hell of a time. Yeah. That's yeah, so funny. He's doing the pose with uh, one of the Ultraman. That's so funny. I, who who would have thought, right? Like, look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy when he's with, with Ultraman. But whenever he's with his wife, oh god, that's uh, that's a total wrench in the oh, fucking. That, that, that was it, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get slapped. Yep. Yep. What was it? Is like keep your, uh, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth or something like. Yep. <laughs> That was such a weird, like, moment, man. Like, he was laughing at one moment, and then, like, when he saw, like, oh, shit, she, my wife didn't, yeah, well, like... Yeah, she got, she got ang angsty. annoyed by it. Like, anno like angsty like, well, or, well, yeah, annoyed by it. He's like, oh, man, fuck, you know? Yeah. So fucking weird. But you can kind of see, like, yeah... Poor, poor Will, man. It's, 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 it's like two different sides of him. Yeah. It's like he can be himself out in public, away from her, but once she's in the picture, it's like, fun gone. Yeah. You gotta be like the, the protective husband, I guess, for the wife when the wife is all like in complete, that. yeah, complete fucking control. And like, then then she like fucking cheat on? She, didn't she didn't she have an affair? Or yeah, something? she she had sexual affairs with like one of the kids' best friends. And I'm like, mm. yeah. And then like they're still together. Yeah, like they try to make it look like oh they squashed that beef or whatever on that in that video, but like nah, dude, like, this does not feel like that. It was so awkward. Will is just like hurting on the inside, man. He wants like ah. Oh. I I hope one day he can like find the, the inner courage to like just 
walk away and divorce her, man. Like, yeah, he's gonna lose, like, I don't know, half his fortune or whatever, but I don't know. At that point, it's like... Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth holding on to that? You know? And at that point, too, like, his kids are already, like, old enough, so I don't think that them separating won't be, like, that harsh. I don't... I mean, it's just me, but... I think they're old enough, though, at this point. Yeah. If they separated when they're kids, then that's, like, different. That's, like, yeah, that's obviously a little more... Or more fucked, right? On more sides. But now that they're, like... They can kind of, like, do stuff themselves kind of thing. Like, especially, um... Mm -hmm. Uh, his son, like, he's, like, starring in movies and shit, you know, more and more, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think them separating will, won't be that much of an issue, or it won't be, uh, it won't affect him that much at that point. I don't know. Whatever. He likes Ultraman, he's a fan, and I approve. <laughs> the fact that you can see him do the pose, the... The ultra like beam pose. I'm all for it, man. Like, what? Well, how? I wonder how he would feel like if, uh, like you said, like Del Toro makes a film, but like he actually casts him as like one of the main characters or whatever. You know, being one of the one of one, at least one of the Ultraman. Mm -hmm. That man, he'd be he'd be so happy. I think he'd be really happy. Yeah. All right. So, in that case, or in that, uh, with that all said, that is it for the show. That's all I got. Anything else you wanted to uh, sprinkle in there before we take off? Before we, before we skedaddle? Sorry, just reading an article on on Twitter. I'm just gonna read the uh the headline. The headline. And then we can we can stop the, we can go from we can stop there and let okay. everyone just My girlfriend yelled a TV character's name during happy time. Oh it was so disturbing. <laughs> oh. To help to help. To not help, but to um, give more, more, uh, more, to say what the TV show was, it was a Cartoon Network show with some aliens. Have a good night, everybody. Oh my god. Oh. All right, we can probably <laughs> stop right well, there. I well, have uh... a good night. You think about it. Tell me when you're done. <laughs>